Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is really exciting because we are going to tour the top 10 entries of my shell challenge. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you so much for your participation on my first ever shell challenge. I hope you had fun and hopefully I can host another challenge in the future. I have reviewed all of the entries and it was so hard to pick the winners and I am just amazed and inspired by all of your talents and creativity and I will steal some of your brilliant ideas. So thank you. Anyway, let's start the tour. First here we have this beautiful modern house by Claire Glass. I really love this skylight, it creates such beautiful natural light on the inside and the interior uses a lot of black and white furniture which I like so much, so pretty good job! Next is this beautiful onsen or Japanese bathhouse I really love the traditional style throughout the build. It looks really relaxing and just perfect for Mount Komorebi. This build by I Know Kalio. Catch my eyes when I was looking through all the entries on the gallery. I think the exterior is pretty really stunning, the interior is also pretty simple and clean, but I really like it. My favourite thing here is the jacuzzi that somehow they managed to put, and I think it's just really nice touch of this modern house. Next is another modern build and I was sitting on the fence for this build because they did touch my wall, they add two extra walls on the outside. But then I thought that it's okay, I'll let it pass this time. And what I really like from this house is the roofing and also they created this custom fireplace and I think that's just genius. Next up is this family house by Arrow Builds. I just love how they overlap the windows, I think it's really brilliant and I also love the colour on the exterior and interior, I think it's very well decorated and feels cohesive. This Japanese residential is probably the one that I would live in real life because it's just so beautiful on the inside. It feels so relaxing, so cozy and makes me just want to cuddle up. Next we have this amazing build and this one is different because of the style. I love this stone wall, it looks like a perfect combination of rustic and modern style. The interior uses a pop of yellow and I think it looks bright and refreshing. Now, we are entering the top 3 position. So this incredible Japanese house is placed on 50 by 50 lot and I fall in love with the landscaping. Just look at the pond, the bamboo garden, everything looks so peaceful and relaxing. One thing that I'm going to do after this is to try first person camera and just stroll around the garden. The interior of this house is also beautiful, so the style is really, really on point. Next up is a base game only house, created by Anna Sanatha. And I know her from Instagram, she creates amazing base game builds and occasionally restricted pack builds. I really love the rooftop seating and dining area and again, this is just base game. I have to give a standing ovation for that, for her talent and patience, simply stunning. Last but not least is my personal favourite, Modern House by Madeleine Sims. I love how 
they use different wall texture. It doesn't have so much landscaping going on, but I just love the simplicity. And the interior, they put a very cute indoor garden and custom tiles in the kitchen and bathroom, which I really love. I think that's just so cool. And that's all for the top sale. Thank you so much again for everyone's participation, for your time and efforts. I really, really appreciate it. The top 10 entries will be showcased on my Instagram at RichiePotato, so make sure to check it out. And for the winners, please let me know in the comments your Instagram handle so I can tag you. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Next week, I'm back with my spook build, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Sunday and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well with the same handle at RichiePotato. See you all soon. Bye bye.